What is going on guys? I'm actually going on a private pick today. A friend of mine locally contacted me and her ex-husband uh, had to go into- In 1,000 feet. And she said she had some items that are sellable and pretty heavy, etc. So I'm meeting up with her now. I'll try to get some footage, see what I can get. And let's knock out a video. This is like a really good, good area Admiral Road. that I usually like going to estate sales and garage sales to because it's just, it's right here on the golf course and the houses are really prominent and you know, there's some good stuff to go out of there, obviously with the gate and everything. So let's see what, so this neighborhood is just amazing, but you can see, This is, I think, the type of neighborhoods that Juan, Texan Picker, he likes to go like on trash day and they throw out like just amazing stuff you wouldn't believe anybody would just get rid of. Turn right on Masters Drive. All right. In a quarter of a mile, turn right on Masters Court. So there's your golf course. Turn right on Masters Court. You've arrived, destination is on your right. Oh, there it is. That's where I'm going, right back there, guys. Wow, look at this house. All right, y'all, right, so check it out. I got this antique clock, and you can just tell it's old. Another one, and that's like a onyx, green onyx of some sort. This is like from the 1920s or 30s, she said. It belonged to her grandfather, H.M. And yes, it opens, the keys are inside, and the combination, so it is fully functional. Um, I got this vintage, like, handmade dovetail, like, box. Um, some artwork, some ceramic pot. This is like a... I don't know what, like a um, coffee table book or a magazine rack holder. Um, this is like another like side table with a drawer. It looks like a book. Dante. And this is like, she said it was an old Scottish piece with like inlays. Um, another clock. Here's another Chivas Regal. And then this was pretty exciting. This is like she said it was an old Scottish like sword. How crazy is that? Isn't that awesome? And then this was like like a cane or like so you walk with it. I don't know the history behind this, but I don't know. Probably knock upside some of the head. Safe. I got some glass like I don't know what those are. Lamps. That's like an old fishing rod holder. A big framed piece of art. And then, I don't know, I think that's about it. Oh, there's like a Sony uh, receiver also. I'm not sure if it works, but I got that. So I'm pretty excited, guys. What do you think about this haul? Oh, there was another book. It, it looks like a book. It's like a, a side table that looks like a big book. Um, I think that was pretty much it, guys. Oh, this is like a, a machete, like a vintage machete. It's like a sheath. Let's see if it has a brand on it. Uh, I'm not seeing any markings. A lot of times, sometimes if you look at the markings on it, see anything and I don't know what this was oh, there's a marking I'll have to look it up where's it at Let's see what it says here hmm okay yeah. old vintage stuff someone out there 
flex it, use it as wall decor. But yeah, this is uh, the haul, guys, that I just got from a friend of mine. If you're watching, Judy, thanks again for the opportunity to pick up this stuff and help you out. I'll be curious to see how well this does. So how exciting was that for a bundle of items that I just got from being nice to a lady, a local friend. I've helped her out on a few things, moving uh, storage units, etc. Uh, it just goes to show that you know, being nice to people, it just pays off. So if you're watching this and um, you ever wonder if karma like comes back to um, do good things for you, then you know I'm here to tell you that yes, it does. Treat people nice, and it comes back tenfold. Um, and plus, you know, it's it's a no-brainer. If you go to a garage sale or a state sale, and you're just, you know, piece of crap, or you're, you're mean, or ignorant, or just not nice overall, people don't want to have, you know, rude uh, individuals at their sales. They want to get you gone as quickly as possible, and they're not going to sell anything to you. They're going to give you a price that they know that you're not going to want, just to get you off their property. So. Keep that tucked in the back of your mind that if you're ever at, you know, a situation and you have a choice between being nice and being, you know, a, a prick or a, a witch, and I'm saying that PG-13, you know, uh, kindness pays off. Uh, try to do that in all aspects of life, not just in picking and um, reselling. Uh, I'll try to put some comps on the screen. Um, if you haven't already, please look at my previous video where I was on the news locally. Uh, in Houston here at KPRC uh, found the Purple Heart and the gentleman that it belongs to so there's gonna be a part two to it uh, it's pretty exciting for me and I'm excited for him to get his property back and until then thanks for watching guys take care peace so it's Saturday two o'clock and it is freaking raining out so garage sales in this area are pretty much shot this weekend but you get on estatesales.net, you do a nearby search for any estate sales, and there's one that has vintage written all over it. The description was 90-year-old dad, had to get into a facility, etc. So what does that yell? Vintage. So I'm going to go over there and hopefully find some things. Let's see. If I do, I will include the footage. Yeah, not fun. Oh, here we are. Pretty nice neighborhood. Maybe the rain kept out some competition. What do you think? Oh, wow, there's only one car there. Two cars there. You've arrived. Destination is on your right. I bet you people were there earlier, but here we go, guys. I can find stuff. I gotta wear a mask, but I'm gonna try to film when I can. All right, y'all. So I just left the estate sale. Sorry, I couldn't really get any footage inside. Partly because there was someone there that I had met at previous sales, and they were chatty Kathy. They were talking my ear off, and uh, it was pretty much just catching up conversation. Nothing too crazy, and I didn't want to be rude because it's been a while since I've seen them. So. I just kind of kept talking with them the whole time. Um, I did find like four or five different items that I can sell for a decent profit. And um, some of them are bolo items that I will do a haul video in just a second to give you an idea of what I found and what the values are. The weather here is freaking crazy. And I just got a pop-up on my phone that says that there's like a tornado in the area and there should be like a shelter in place, go to the like underground and like whatever. Um, I'll, if I can put a screenshot of the phone message that just popped up on the siren or whatever, I'll do that. But yeah, it's kind of crazy weather here down here in, um, the NASA Clear Lake area, kind of between Houston and Galveston. Uh, I don't know, I guess it maybe wasn't a good day to go estate sale shopping. Okay, well, uh, stay tuned. I'll cut to the uh, comps and the haul that I just got from that estate sale. All right, y'all, as promised, here is the haul. It's only three items, but some of these you might want to keep an eye out for. This first one 
is a clock that came with the key. Really nice condition, really nice house. So um, you can look, Hamilton, the DuPont, I don't know if that's from a company or not, but usually on these, you want to turn them around and try to see the innards. And that is always a good sign when you see the brass and no electricity or batteries or anything. People want the old timey stuff. And then, I don't know if y'all can see it, but where it says Hermy, Franz Hermley. And so, do a quick comp search while you're at the sale. At least that's what I do. And sure enough, it turned out pretty good. I think I make a hundred bucks just on the clock. I spent 35, they were asking, what, 45. And it was late in the day and I said, hey, will you take 35? And sure enough, they did. Next one is, looks like a, just a regular old top hat, but flipped it over and company is Dobbs and I don't know if you could see it, but Fifth Avenue and just did a quick search and sure enough, I spent five bucks and the return on investment for that hat should be pretty good. And then lastly, if you ever see any vintage, and I knew it was vintage just from the cuffs, the stitching under here, and then the tag. If you don't see a tag, then usually it's a modern, but since it had the tag, I went ahead and looked it up, and sometimes there's a date down here, but this one didn't really have a date, it just had the name. Um, but anytime you see any vintage, like sports sweaters, for teams, especially if they're a larger team that's really popular. For me, Ohio State obviously caught my eye, a lot of family in Ohio. Uh, sure enough, this sweater will get me probably about 50 bucks and I only spent five on it. And they charge, usually you can pick them up for like two or three dollars, but I still paid up for the five to get 50. So that is what I got at the estate sale. Perhaps you'll find something like this at y'all's searching locations, whether it be in a garage sale, estate sale, thrift mall, whatever. Good luck out there. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.